back with another review and as you can see we have a very big box so we're going to be reviewing the KO version and this is a third party knockoff again a third party knockoff review of the Make Toys Giant Type 61 as you can see here I have a very big box with me a really nice box with the product shot this is their take on Devastator and you can see all the six Constructicons, uh, Constructicons are there um, it says they're Giant Type 61. More product shots. Uh, if you take a look at the back, you will see here the assembly of the really nice figure from Make Toys that these guys uh, knocked off or bootlegged. Um, I'm really having, you know, second thoughts of if it's really a a KO figure or it's a figure that did not pass quality control because the box is really um, saying it's make toys it's possible that they just really KO'd the box as well but it's it's really really real I mean it's I don't know I can't really imagine if this is really a fake toy or not I mean it it looks genuine it looks real to me but again it's it's a knockoff and you'll see what what I mean because there's gonna be uh, some very striking difference from the original so again it could be a fake toy it could be a knockoff or it could be just a toy that did not pass quality control but that's the box really nice box very big inside the box is a uh, cardboard box uh, that says make toys uh, I'm not gonna take that out because it eats up a lot of space but that is pretty much it I bought it from one of our Cybertronians in Cybertron Philippines. Big shout out to Emil. Uh, big uh, thanks to you, bro, for selling me this awesome looking figure. So thank you very much. That's the box right there. Uh, now we're going to be discussing how this is going to go. So I was playing around with it and there's six figures to this thing and it's a really big figure so I'm planning to do a review of two of each I mean like in twos so we're gonna do it in pairs and we're gonna start off with uh, these two guys right here so this is um, this is mixer and uh, that's their take on mixmaster and their take on scraper or scrapper or there you go so they look really nice in robot mode um, I like the color first off it's it's very reminiscent to the G1 colors of Devastator and the Constructicons it's the sickly <laughs> sickly uh, green <laughs> it's like phlegm green <laughs> but but it looks great um, it's very detailed let's try to take a look at this guy right here so this is scraper or scrapper or whatever you want to call him so he has a uh, really nice color there's uh, silver on the wheels he has uh, you know silver over here some stickers I don't know oh no these are not stickers these are painted things I would really appreciate if they were actually black and yellow like really warning signs but they went with the red and white but yeah uh, you can see there's some silver paint well I like, I like the silver accents that they placed on the figures so so yeah color wise they look wonderful now these are not really the way that you would reimagine or actually um, remember your G1 Constructicons but this is a reimagining of Make Toys again so it's possibly that they uh, you know just try to make them more uh, realistic and transforming because if you had the G1 toy um, you know they're just kind of like little boxes that didn't really have that much articulation so so yeah it's it's pretty plain but this is well articulated these guys have uh, a lot of articulation they have waist articulation uh, this one has a very stiff waist articulation but I can't really move it uh, that's one of the big things right here it's really scary so to start and tell you right now what's the big difference between the KO figure and the the original I guess is that these guys did not seem to pass quality they're a mixture of both tight and loose parts um, let's start off with Mixmaster right here or the uh, mixer 
Um, they have their own little names because what happened is that they they have uh, a manual that comes along with this. I just have to find it. Here it is. So there, and you can see their names. A lovely, lovely picture of Devastator and the rest of the Constructicons. You can open it. There's a yellow version. Um, you can see some artwork. You can see how they transform. So you have an excavator. You have dump truck. You have wheel loader which is this guy right here scraper or scrapper uh, you have mix master you have the mobile crane which is hook and then you got bulldozer which is scavenger and it goes on with the transformation there's a there's a spread or there's a centerfold of devastator it's kind of like a playboy spread out <laughs> you know, maybe for the ladies of Cybertron, I don't know. They find Devastator sexy. Uh, but yeah, this is the manual right there. Uh, you can follow the manual. I tried following it. It's it's kind of difficult sometimes. So I'll, I'll just do whatever I can to go and transform these guys. Um, we're going to focus first. We're going to take away this guy and focus first on this dude right here. So they come with weapons and the weapons actually transform into the gun of Giant Type 61 or let's just call him Devastator. Um, but you can also put them in the vehicle mode. So what we're going to do is we're going to transform this guy in vehicle mode in a bit and we're also going to transform him into his limb or leg mode. Uh, as you can see right now I'm holding him. It's because this is the part that I'm going to show you. I told you that these things could be uh, items from Make Toys that did not pass quality control because that's the problem right there. They are flimsy as hell. Some parts are very flimsy and some parts are just really scary tight. Um, I told you that the the color is wonderful. Violet and uh, green really works well on the Constructicons. I like the molded detail, the accents. Uh, they have shoulder joints. You can do that to the whole arm. They have elbows. No wrist articulation. This guy has really nice waist articulation. They have uh, a very scary loose thigh swivel. Toes right there. And this thing right here can extend, but it, I, I'm just really scared because it feels like it's going to break. So I'm not going to just extend it. You can actually extend that. Um, the face mold is there. You can see, you can't see it. It's kind of dark, but you can rotate the head. There you go. There you go. I like the, the mold for the face. You can open these things and it will show missiles right there. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. Um... Bojo, uh, a friend of mine, mentioned that these guys are, should be like MP-style transformations. I would agree they're kind of weird in the transformation and they're kind of they're kind of intricate when you transform them, but I'm not a big fan of that. If you're going to be doing something like a combiner, it should be really not so easy, but mid-level of difficulty in transformation. Uh, it's a problem for these guys because some of them are really hard to transform and you don't know if you're breaking the parts already. So let's get this guy into his mixer mode. So first thing I want to do is I just really put these things together. There we go. Oops, it's kind of tight. So let's try to put these guys together right here. Okay, or, or not, or not. Just, just fold the toes first. I don't know why it's not doing it, but this is the problem with these toys. Uh, they're really tight. Ariel, come on, I can feel you. Ugh, dude, come on. Okay. There you go. Okay, so once you've done that, you can see, you can just fold this right there. That easy. It's folded. Okay. So, Mixmaster is, I guess, one of the easiest things to transform in this set. So once you transform him in that mode, you can see now that you can just pop this, or just try to flip this thing right here okay and you're gonna just try to angle this thing how did I do that uh, there so you're gonna angle it so 
So first off, you have this section right there, and you can see that there is also this joint. So once you fold it, you're gonna see now that this this thing right there, that that peg, will slot into that hole, and just do so. And again, do the same thing for the other section. Peg that thing once more. And there he is. So he's a nice looking uh, cement mixer. He rolls. Uh, the, the mixer does not rotate though. And this gun right here, you can just I don't know how I did that, but, uh, how did you do this? Oopsie. Ah, there. So you can just fit that there. It doesn't really look good, though. It's like, it's not, I don't know, it's not cool. But you can do that. That's, that's his mixer mode right there. So you can just remove this. I don't like that. Um, you can see it's... it's See that? It doesn't lock in place. It's wobbly. And that's something that I don't like. But you know, it's 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 something. So what you get for not buying the original. Um you can see here that there is this pull out section where you can actually try to pull or like uh put another accessory. It's for this part right here. So this would be the fists of Devastator, but it transforms into a some sort of a generator, I guess, or or machinery that's for construction. And then you can you can see this this peg right there, and then there's this hole right here. So you just really put that in. And there you have it. <clears throat> so that is Mixmaster right there. So. He's he's one of the uh, one of the Constructicons that I like in the G1. Um, I like him because I see a lot of uh, cement mixers when I was a kid, and I'm a big fan. And I like I like this version of him. It's just that my my qualm is that it's it's really flimsy. So there, yeah. like what they did here. So let's just take that and just put this guy aside. Okay, so we're now going to go to this dude right here. So, I had a lot of pain and trouble with this guy when I was transforming him. Uh, one of the problems is that he's too tight when you transform into this vehicle mode or alt mode. Uh, when you push his head in, be careful, as I needed to use tweezers. And now I kind of chipped the head right there. So, it really doesn't show but the face sculpt looks great fantastic on this guy it's just that it's so dark and they could have used some light piping and I would appreciate that but they did um, same goes with Mixmaster there's a lot of joints and posability on this guy there you go it's just kind of scary that some of the parts are really tight so there knees here. And like what McMaster is, he is also flimsy. Very, very flimsy. Uh, let's get him into his transformation. Now this transformation is kind of weird. Here's another gun. I like the molded detail on the gun. But it's going to be a bigger gun when we combine it later. Um, I hate... Uh, this is, I guess... I, I hate this transformation, or this guy when it comes to transformation, there's a lot of flips and, and folds on this dude. So I'm going to try my best to transform him and just fold this thing here. And uh, let's just bring this thing out. And let's be careful with this thing right here because you want to fold it in there. Yeah, and then just yeah. so you're gonna hide the head and be careful with that head because if you put it in too tight it 
just locks and you have to pull it in with with one of the uh, twe tweezers. I, I, I forgot where I placed my tweezers, but I really had to use my tweezers to pull that thing out. Uh, once that's done, you see these, these wheels right here? So just try to unfold that there and turn it and just fold it. See? So just do the same thing. Just turn it right there. And then just turn the thing again, turn the whole arm, and just pull that. There you go. Let's try that. that. Now, as you can see, if you, I open it, there's this gray section that holds it you have to just pull it in front so that you can actually just angle angle the wheels there you can see you're seeing the front of the loader already let's try to open it there some something like that but we're gonna get to that in a bit. So once we have that done, open these panels. So you're gonna open these panels right there. If you can see them there. And the next thing that you wanna do is just, you're gonna pull these things. I don't know if you can see them. There's some gray sections right there. You can just pull that out. I'm sorry, see, I opened that panel. I shouldn't really open that, but you can just pull that. Oops, and that happens. That happens. Uh, this is connected by that slot right there, and you can just hear it peg in if you un uh, unhinge it. There you go. Uh, once you have that done, try to remember this from memory. Just try to turn this here. And just turn this there because you will fold these things like so, fold it like so. And once you fold it, you can just bring it this thing up and then just turn it there. So as you can see, we're starting to see a transformation already of the, the construction vehicle. Now just bring this thing over and just try to bring this section down. There you go. See that? You're going to angle it because it's going to be like the steps for that thing. And you just do the same thing here. You just angle it. There you go. And then once you slowly angle that, you're gonna just try to snap these two together. And then, oh sorry, don't snap it yet because you're gonna bring this down. So bring this down and then snap it in. There you go. There you go. Now, what do we do with these guys? So just unfold them, and you're gonna see that this thing locks into this. There you go. And uh, just bring the gray area once more. And there you have his loader mode. Not the best, not the perfect, but that's what you get. There you go. Now, this seems to be missing something. Uh, there should be some smokestacks right here. Now, that's another kibble part. You can just put that there. I have it stored away. And that's his loader mode.
yeah, looks great. Again, be careful because once once you have that head inside this thing right here, it's really kind of hard to pull out, and you got to be careful with that. But overall, I like the transformations in vehicle mode. Um, really nice detail. I like the uh, the detailed accents that they put in the wheels and in the in the section for the loader. I just wish that they could have used maybe some clear plastic on this and not painted it. But it looks looks great. So I told you that we're gonna bring them together. They look pretty cool together. There you go. And believe me, they would really look better once you combine all six of them. Um, let's try to transform them into their leg mode. How do we do that? It's very easy. Just just try to pull this guy out. There we go. And that's it. As easy as that. That's the legs. And same goes with this. Just put this here. And just bring that section over there. Okay, so you need to make sure that this is going to be the, the under part because that's the flat section. And there you go. So that's the legs. Um, what's my idea on this? It's, you pay what you get. This is not really an original, or it could be an original, but it, it didn't make quality control. So it's, it's not something that you have to like, oh, I wanted a really better toy than this, but no. You paid for that, it's cheap, it's affordable, so you, you know, just really gonna have to suck it in. Um, it's not the most perfect toy, but it's a really nice stand-in for a Combiner Wars Devastator if you didn't get it. It's also in scale with Combiner Wars uh, figures, uh, t uh, guest dolls or combiners, whatever you want to call them. That it's almost the same size, and they really look great together. Uh, detailed, really nice color. Problem is that some of them would have sprue marks again and cracks even, and I think that's not really cracked because of the toy. It's most likely because of the production. So, that's Mixmaster and Scraper. We're going to talk about the rest of the other Constructicons in the next review. Thank you again for watching. Please stay tuned. And remember, till all are one. Peace out.